know it all. Hey guys, what's up? This is me Sudeep and you are watching Know It All. Today in this video we are going to have a look at how to download and install Eclipse on your Windows 10 operating systems. But before that, if you are new to this channel and looking for some useful software installation videos, programming tutorials or some projects, then do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you never miss a video from us. So without any further ado, let's get started. So now open your favorite browser and just type Java JDK. You must be wondering why to download Java JDK when we are talking about Eclipse. This is because Eclipse is a Java based IDE and for that you first need to install Java JDK. So just type Java JDK. Over here the first one is the official link so click on it. And from the given set of links uh, you can click on the first java platform jdk 9 to download java jdk now select the operating system that you have and uh, click on the required option so if you don't know how to do this then uh, see you can see my video for which i would drop a card and uh, you could see that by clicking on this annotation icon over here and uh, if you have any issues you could ask me in the comment section below so now open a new tab and type Eclipse. Uh, from the given set of links, you have to select Eclipse Oxygen as uh, this is the latest running Eclipse version. So click on it. So this is the download page for Eclipse. Now click on the download button to get started. Now you could see a variety of links from which uh, you could download Eclipse but uh, this one is from the site and these are the mirror links so depending upon your choice you could select any one of it but for now I would be selecting this so as you can see I am starting the download and it would take some time depending upon the internet speed so I will catch you guys when the download is complete so now as you can see the download is complete and uh, first let me minimize the browser I'll, I'll not directly open the setup but instead I'll open the folder as I have to run it as administrator now right click on it and run it as administrator click on yes Now let me minimize the folder. We'll have to wait for it to open. So now the setup is open and uh, you are being provided with a variety of options from which you could choose like uh, for Java developers, Java EE developers, C, C++ developers. But right now we are going to install it for Java so we are going to select the first one. So in this section you would have to select the installation folder and the directory to which you want to install the Eclipse software. So if you don't have any good reason to change it you could leave it as default but for me as I prefer all my softwares at one place I will change the directory and set it to the one of my choice. Okay, so. And uh, click on install and wait for the setup to complete. So now as you can see the setup is completed. 
so now just click on the launch button so for the first time when you will load this eclipse software it would ask for the directory where it would store its workspace so leave it as default or you would change if you want and click on launch so now the software is open and uh, that was all about the installation of Eclipse now we would try and uh, run our first project on Eclipse so for that uh, click on pile and uh, click on new and then java project now give the name for the project like i would do my or something like my first java and then uh, leave leave this as default select any of the java se but i am leaving it as default now everything is looking fine so click on next and now this gives the structure of the project that you have created currently and now click on finish so for at the first glance you would not observe anything but uh, to see your project you would have to minimize this welcome window so I'll minimize it now and you can see here is your project open up so firstly we would create a class in it for the execution so click on new and then class for an instance so now we would give the name of the class like uh, something like same as my first java as we want to execute this file so we would include the public static void main method and now click on finish so this have created a class with the public static void main method so now we would uh, demonstrate the working of it and uh, type system dot out dot uh, to the double parenthesis and uh, print something like this is my first java application and now simply click on run to run it okay so as you can see this has been successfully compiled and executed so this brings us to the end of the video now if you have any doubts regarding the video of installation of eclipse you could ask me in the comment section below uh, and if you guys like the video please drop a like so that i can know that i am generating the right quality of content so that's it i'll catch you guys in the next one peace